Hi, my name is Rafael Justo. I'm here at uh, I own a studio here in South Tampa called Body Shapers Fitness. We have one of my favorite clients here, Chad, and we're getting ready. To, we just finished actually working out, doing a very functional training here, using a lot of muscle groups. And the most important thing right now, more than anything, is we're getting ready to um, stretch all the muscles that have been worked out and um, to make sure there's no injuries. And also, we want to help the client relax before he takes off. So he's very exhausted right now. So the main thing is before he leaves that all his muscles are at rest and um, he doesn't pull anything or whatnot. So the first thing we're going to do here is basically what it's called. You know, the ASIS is just kind of, you want to hold for two seconds, bring it back, just to let the muscle know that, hey, I'm here, I'm getting ready to stretch you. We're going to go ahead and stretch these muscles out. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just working the hip flexors here. I'm activating the glute max and getting ready to go into our static stretching, which is basically when we're just kind of lean forward here. We're stretching the, the adductors, we're stretching the hip flexors, um, and, and the hamstrings, most, most important, more than anything. A lot of clients have very tight hamstrings, tightens up their lower backs, causes a lot of lumbar issues, like um. L4, L5, especially clients that have a lot of herniated discs. Very important stretch for a lot of clients here. All right. From that stretch, we're going to go ahead, open the, keep opening the hips, going back again. Two seconds hold, release. Two seconds hold, release. We're going to hold it. Wait for a couple seconds here. Who wants to take a deep breath? Relax. Sir. Beautiful. Now we're moving into the piriformis, which goes from your sacrum across the glutes. Great stretch for clients that have, again, lower back issues, L405, sciatica, great stretch. Piriformis is the main muscle we're stretching here. You can do this at home. Just kind of, if you grab your hands in between your legs, right over here, you can push back. Same thing, well, any assistant, especially if you have a sciatic nerve pinching, great stretch. Keep opening the hips, basically all the other direction, child. Another great stretch. Two seconds. Beautiful. Now we're going to go to what's called a PNF. All right, so basically it's, this is called inhibition reciprocal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push. He's going to resist. And he's going to, so I'm going to say resist. So push, push against me. Three, two, relax. That's going to help me push more forward. Do it again. Three, two, relax. Do it again, push. Three, two, relax. Beautiful. That muscle, muscle helps me elongate, gets me more of a deeper stretch. There's a tendon called the Goji tendon. And that ten tendon is one of the receptors that helps tell the muscle, okay, we can go a little bit further now. And that's called inhibition reciprocal. That's a great technique that everybody should use. I'm going to go close to the edge of the table here. Nope, nope. Stand back. Bring his leg down. I'm going to stretch his groin and his psoas. A lot of people's psoas are very tight. It could be from the IT bands, glutes, hip flexors. So great stretch, which is basically going to push up. Push down here. Put my hand on the iliac crest. Just going to push here. Yes, sir. And relax. On your side now. Stretch the quadriceps. You never want to bend the knee too close. So if I'm here, I can put stress on the knee. So you're going to come about right here. And hold on to the knee here. Put your hands on his hip flexors and just kind of lean with it. Now we're not putting stress on the knee. Another way of doing this, you have to be very careful. If you don't want to hurt the back. You can use your hip, side of your hip, put it in his lower back. 
put the ankle here, go over his kneecap. You want to just kind of lean forward with it. Push quadricep. Another way of stretching the quadricep. Rowing back. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to skip that part. You don't want to press too hard. Press the knees a little bit here. Now, more probably one of the most important things. I like to roll out the IT bands, mainly because the IT band is tight, tightens up, shortens. Excuse me. Now we have a knee issue here. So right. So then after the knee. If this times, now you have knee pain, a lot of people get runner's knee, you get plantar fasciitis. If you are a runner, you do a lot of triathlons, lower back issues, herniated disc. Um, I recommend myofascial release. Before you work out, um, get a foam roller. You buy it anywhere. You foam roll all the, all, you know, your whole body. Make sure you get your TFL. Make sure you get the hip flexors, the glutes, and the band. Very important. Um, use it when you do a Use it when you roll your body out. Once you feel the pain, you want to hold it for a couple seconds. And you want to slowly get into the pain. You don't want to just jump into a lot of trainers. What they do is they get to the foam roller, they do it for two, two minutes, if that, and they're ready to work out. I'll say about a good five, six minutes on the roller. Just take your time. You know, get all them, get, try to get all the trigger points. And, um, and that will prevent a lot of issues, believe it or not. This is what I do. I get a roller here, like a stick. And I just kind of roll up. See right here, I know he's feeling the pain. I usually roll out the bands. Do the same thing on the other side. Let me out. Make sure I get the bands. Very important, guys. I do this every single day with every single client. So about 40 clients come to the studio. There's not one person in the studio that does not leave without I'm making sure I'm rolling off these IT bands. Main injuries for clients is knees, shoulders, and lower back. Reasons why? A lot of us have compensation. We pronate when we walk. We have a lot of, uh, we have, a lot of us have, you know, tilt shoulders. You know, so I like to retract the shoulders. I like to, uh, our external rotators a lot of times are, are you know, rotated in, so we want to retract that as well. So there's a lot of compensation going on with the body. And a lot of the things that we do here at the studio is making sure we realign the body, we stretch all the muscles that need to be stretched, and strengthen the muscles that need to be strengthened, and we try to prevent injuries. And one of the main things of doing injuries is doing exactly what I'm doing, making sure, you know, you realign that body, um, especially if there's pronation going on or supination when we walk. And that's what makes the studio a little bit different than anybody else. Um, coming from a massage therapy background, I've been in business for about 10 years. I've been training, I have about, again, about 40 clients that come to the studio. I'm here in South Tampa. Very exclusive studio, not a membership gym. Basically, I love doing this. I'm very passionate about it. If I can get out my work out to the whole Tampa, let them know what I do. That's all. That's my passion, helping people out every single day.